Research is in the area of biomechanics or comparative physiology, and so as a physiologist, I'm interested in how organisms work. And I concentrate on the physical interactions between organisms and their environments. So I'm very interested in how physical processes influence the way that organisms can interact with their environment, uh, whether it's in locomotion or sensing. And uh, I, uh, I've worked with a variety of different kinds of taxa. I often work with insects. Why one finds something interesting I think is sometimes hard to, to pinpoint. I've always found uh, insects very interesting and I've always enjoyed, um, I've always enjoyed uh, math and, and the physical sciences, but in, in a biological context. So I've always found the interaction between biology and physics and math uh, particularly intriguing. Well, recently, um, I've been involved in a very fun and cool discovery, which is the discovery of the mechanism of entrapment of bed bugs by leaves from bean plants. And I have a, a bean plant right here <laughs> as, a, as a prop, so I can, I can I will show you what I mean. So this is based on a historical remedy for controlling bed bugs, which was used hundreds of years ago in, in Europe, where people would uh, take leaves from bean plants. So here are some leaves right here. And <clears throat> so if you take leaves from bean plants like this, uh, if a bed bug walks over these leaves, then they become entrapped or captured. And so this has been known for hundreds of years, but it's not really clear how exactly this is working. And, and part of my interest in this was not only because it's an example of a rather amazing physical interaction between an insect and the environment, but also the thought that this could possibly be the basis for development of a, of a way of entrapping these annoying pests without using uh, chemicals. So in other words, a physical insecticide as opposed to a, a chemical insecticide. So I also use my, my scientific training uh, to do uh, experiments in the classroom. And so this uh, is sometimes referred to as scientific teaching, which is using uh, the scientific method to evaluate different things that one is trying in a classroom. So I've actually involved undergraduates in these research projects uh, as well. So we've worked with different kinds of design of multiple choice questions and also different kinds of seating chart algorithms for making things run as smoothly uh, as possible in the classroom during testing. But also, uh, I have a general uh, interest in effective teaching and um, uh, evaluating and assessing the, the methods uh, that we're using in, in evaluating students. Mm -hmm. 